Hey there and welcome to a brand new Blender tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to use autofocus. So without any further ado, let's hop straight into it. I'm going to just delete my cube and my point lamp. We're not going to need it. I'm going to import a plane and an object that we are actually going to focus on. That's that one right there. I'm going to reset my camera, uh, camera rotation and location so that we can better see what we are doing and I'm going to position it in a way that we can see the object. So I'm just rushing through this because I'm assuming that you already have a scene with an object that you want to focus on. So this is purely about the actual focusing. I'm going to go into the viewport shading view or mode and now we can see that we have our object right here. It has a material so that we can better see what is going on looks like this. The colors are kind of changing when you move around and it has some detail so that we can better see where it's focused and where it's not. So I'm going to enable depth of field in my camera settings by clicking on the camera, going to the camera icon and then depth of field. Now you can see it's not really focused. I can click anywhere and then shift A, create an empty plane axis. That in itself won't do much, but that will be our focus point. Let's click on the camera again. Uh, go to the drop down menu where it says depth of field, and under the focus object, we want to select our empty. Now uh, you can see that the empty is right there, and that it's focusing on that empty, and because it's so close to the actual object, the object gets kind of put in focus. Now by selecting our empty we can move that around and move it closer to the camera or further away from it and you can see that it gets kind of focused a little bit better uh, the or closer to the camera or closer to the object uh, depending on where we put the actual empty. I'm going to uh, make this a little bit more visible by going to the render options in Eevee and going to, uh, let me say, depth of field and enabling high quality slide defocus and jitter camera. It's going to give us a little bit more of a realistic effect. Now next up, I'm going to go to the object pro uh, constraints properties. I'm going to add a constraint and it's going to be shrink wrap. So now I'm going to go to this eyedropper tool and click on the actual object that we want to focus on. And right off the bat, nothing really happened. But look what happens when we move our empty. It moves just along the edges of our mesh. It doesn't want to go anywhere away from it. So it just moves in its boundaries, which is really cool and which is what we want. But still, if we move our camera around, let me just click on the camera, then N, and then go to View and Camera to View. If we move our camera around, we can still see that the backside is not in focus because our focus point is behind the object or behind where uh, we actually want to look at. So let's select the empty again, then shift select the camera, control P for pole, and then click on object. And now if we move by not selecting anything, you can see that the camera actually moves with uh, with the view because of this setting. And if we rotate the camera by rotating our view, you can see that the empty actually follows the path of the camera and stays snapped to the object, effectively giving us an autofocus option, always focusing closer to the camera. We can still manually move it. If you wanted to, we can just say, okay, I want you to move somewhere over there it's also fine, but it will, for the majority of the time, move on its own and always stay clipped to the actual object that you want to focus on. So I found this out yesterday. I was pretty stoked about it. have never needed it before, or I needed it a lot of times, but it was always easier for me to just do it myself manually instead of looking up how to do it. But I think this is actually a really good time saver uh, for if you don't want to move your empty around or your focus plane around all of the time. So that would be it. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.